here we are again. Hey everybody, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another wondrous episode of Rental Breakdown. We got a couple of uh, first timers and hopefully a couple of last timers on the show. Um, I, of course, am your esteemed host, Logan Lewis. Uh, to my far right, we got Abby Perry. Hope she's never on again. Um, to my direct right, we've got Noah Bullard looking like the most homeless man I've ever seen, I think. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, he's, he, he's good at wearing coat, coats on the show in the studio. It's hot. It's hot. Shut up. And to my left, we've got Liz Sepchak. Hi, Liz. How you doing? Pretty good. Should have stuck the weather. Anyway, yeah. um, so the movie that we're talking about today is this movie called Birthmark. Now, one of us, one of us, who actually liked the movie? Me? Don't get it. I don't understand. It okay. Oh, it, yeah. Go well, ahead. Listen. Yeah. Explain listen, your, explain, Linda. My name is Logan. Thank you. Listen. Close, but no cigar. <sighs> All right. The movie was bad. Poorly executed. Yes, I agree. The acting wasn't that good. Okay, we're two for two no, on okay. the yes, points. Okay. okay, the plot development wasn't that good. Okay, so terrible. And this was a good movie in what way? I just liked it. I never said it was a good movie. Did, yes. I just yeah, well, liked you it. Did. What did no. you like about it? Yeah. What did it you was, like about it was this an, trash fire? It was a neat story. It was. That's the most it was a good. It was a good concept. It was a good concept, but it doesn't matter. Because I liked where the movie should have gone. It just it didn't, didn't get there. there. <sighs> okay, there. before I get really mad at Noah, let, let's introduce what we're going to be eating on the show now. Oh, no. Why do we always have to eat stuff? Because Can we ever have something that we drink? Well, we're, we're, we'll, we'll be drinking stuff. Uh, hot, uh, oh. hot sauce. Oh. Triple X, Wait. chili habanero. Mm. Picante I'm not hot even sauce. good with like buffalo sauce. So yeah, this is gonna be a nightmare. We take me. a shot. I don't like this. <laughs> so why don't we get in to this movie? Abby, you want to start us off? Start off uh, this like of what the movie's about. Okay. What this movie is. All please. right. So it's basically two scientists that. Both come from scientisty families. Yep. Um, they fall in love later in life. As, as people do. As people do. As people do. They tend meet to do. It's soulmates. Need yay. love. Um, they decide to have children, but they want to test the nature versus nurture theory. Yes. And so yes. they're having a child, two scientists, and they want to raise the child as an artist. Mm -hmm. They adopt a child that comes from a not bright. Not, family. Not, 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 not the brightest. And they want her to be a, a genius. The movie refers to them as idiots. Yes, yes. That, but you know, that's what the you movie know. calls them. And then they adopt a child that comes from a very aggressive family, kind yep. of violent, and they raise him to be a pacifist. Um, kind of unethical. Oh, but... buzzword, unethical. I really don't want to do this. Already. Well, if right. I'm doing this, you're doing this. Okay. Here's a cup. How does how does it connect? Here's a cup. Why am I connected? Here's a cup. And just pour yourself a little bit. It don't gotta be a lot, just a little bit. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't get there. <coughs> Ooh! Oh God! As it says on the bottle. So I'm never coming back on right. mental break. All right, sauce <laughs> Yep. On the bottle. Yeah. Abby might be dying. I need water. I need milk. I need like a whole glass of she milk. Needs she needs some, some milk. milk. My face is about to get really Why red. Why am I here? A product I asked that same question when you volunteered. Okay. Yeah. You want to keep going, Abby? With this? With this? No, milk? I'm well, done talking. I'm you're, done you're talking. Done Someone talk? else's turn. All right, Noah. Guinea pigs. Okay. That, 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 yeah, Were that's you a, trying to? That's an animal. No, it's just guinea pigs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you tried to buzzword yet? <laughs> guinea pigs. Okay. Right. Uh, cute, furry little animals. Um, Where are you going with this? I think they're great. Yeah. One of my friends has a guinea pig. It's really cute. I'm allergic um, to them. I'm gonna make you take another. Like, Sad. Like, you know. If no. you don't talk about the movie. Okay, fine. 
<clears throat> the man has a really weird beard. It's like all right here. Like Eminem. And there's beard. like nothing here. Beard is weird. It's real. It's like a half mutton, half beard thing. Um, and his wife gets really mad at him. Yep. And there's a Russian. And Russian, his wife has relations with the Russian. And was that confirmed no, in the movie? Yeah, I think it's it was more no, allegedly. it definitely it definitely what happened. I think that's paranoia. Yeah, I don't think that was. A I thing. think Ben was just going a little local. No, there's it definitely happened. Um, okay. Well, anyway, our, our, our expert the Russian the, movie, no, like the Russian that may or may not have had relations with, with the that wife, woman. Um, I cannot feel my tongue. Good. Basically, <laughs> yeah, I can't either. Uh, the Russian that may or may not have had relations with the woman is the caretaker yes. of the children, right? He's yes. like a nanny. Mm -hmm. He is a big nanny. He's a big nanny. He's a former Olympic uh, something sharpshooter. Yeah, yeah. he's a yeah. sharpshooter. Yeah, he. Yeah. Uh, that yeah, that was that was a great impression of a gun. That gun. happens a couple times. What in the, the movie. Yeah, that he, part? Because they tell him to like take the night off, and he goes out in the woods and. And that's right before the uh, little horse uh, equestrian. Yeah, great times. Um, Do you want to explain thing. that, Liz? Can you explain? <clears throat> okay, well, slight backstory. Um, I work in a lab at Ball State, public place. Humble Things brand. happen. Um, and I was watching this in the public, and people walked past as the, uh, the horse fetish right. scene was going on. So that was fun. Um, I didn't know how to explain that one. Still don't. Yeah. That's all. Oh, no, the I mind can explain reels, it for you. Know? you. Oh, go for it. it. Yeah, I really just don't so want to So in the it, beginning no. of the movie, he <laughs> they talk about when he's in college, right? And they talk about how his only real sexual activity was him in his room masturbating to equestrian races. Hey, buzzword or buzz topic. That was on there anyway. Let's do it. Masturbating? No, being attracted to horses. I just waited. I really. This is my show. My show. Whoa! You really went for this it. This smells like regret. Yeah. Here we go. Suck it up, Perry. I love how you called her by her last name. Yeah, I have a first name. Oh. Ooh. <coughs> That's peppery. I need some more. You excuse me? Are you joking? No, I'm out. I actually I think this wouldn't be that bad if I had a chicken nugget to dip it in. A chicky nuggy? Yeah, if, to I, dip had this a, if I had something. Noah, this tastes this like and Noah. Not just a my chicken. Fingers. There we go. What do you, you like oh, self destruction? Excuse, That's enough. Excuse me? Do you want some more? No, God, no. There you go. You want some seconds? You want some No, birds? I have plenty here. No, oh, that's not enough. You need more. All right, Liz, do you, do you, do you want to just take off from there for the movie and keep going? Yeah. About this so, film? It's a wonderful film. <laughs> so this experiment ends up being funded by man with no facial hair. Man, yes. Man with no facial man hair. With no, that, that, was the that, that was his name. character name, man oh, he, with he no Oh, he did have the mustache, you're right. Which is the he creepiest had the pedo stash, stash I've ever seen. Very weird. I don't, sometimes Woo. facial hair is just, woof. Gertz. His name was Gertz. Gertz. Yes. Clearly fake accent. He ended up funding for two of the kids to be adopted. Yeah. Yep. And when the experiment started to go awry, which was like late in the experiment, yeah, like the when last we were 12. year, yeah, yeah, um, he decided you need to pay me back, or lol, I'm gonna take your which kids. Which was like 1.4 million dollars. Good God. Yeah, and and the mom was mad because she started she shoved an axe into a helicopter because mm -hmm. she was which mad that they threatened to take the kids. Probably which, the greatest scene in the movie. I think. Oh, absolutely. That was probably obviously. the best scene. I mean, I would do that. Would you do that? I would do that if someone Not like surprised. threatened to take my chicken nuggets, so. Ch yeah, yeah. I, I feel that. I, I feel see. like kids are like equivalent to chicken nuggets. In so. a way, yeah. In a way. Can you, you just, just can you explain? <laughs> can you explain that? <laughs> well, I just fans? really like chicken nuggets, so. <clears throat> you really I feel like, like I would really like kids, but I don't okay. have kids, so. That's fair. Throwing it out there. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing it out there, Liz, I'm does not have kids. <laughs> my throat burns. Yeah, I can't feel my, my ears tongue. burn when you talk. Oh, that's fair. Um, you want to keep going, Noah? Yeah, I'll keep going. Um, you better. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. One of the biggest complaints that I had with this movie was... But I thought you liked the movie. I, we've been over this. <laughs> I've done arguing good. with you. We've been over this. We've like been over the this. Movie. My name is Noah Bull. Flash cuts. I like hot sauce. Flash cuts. Hey, buzzword. 
You did that on purpose. Yep. He did. Because he's being a jerk. You know, it's more than him My involved in this, running. though. He's My being eyes a jerk. are water. And there's more. two others that you more. have to be concerned about. Something that we've learned We're from this friends, movie is that goes. people are scapegoats. And they are no. his okay. scapegoat because he's being mean. Are you talking about me? Yes. Good. It's so thick, it's not even moving. <laughs> it's so thick. Oh! Yeah. Oh, hot boy. I regret everything. Abby's having a real bad time over I don't there. like it. <coughs> real what bad time. What are you time. doing? He's eating it like soup. Are you stripping on this, this show? Anymore. This is, this is a, to, I'll be right back. this is a teen friendly show. I'll be right back. This is PG. Right. Noah, where are you going? No, I'll be right back. Noah. All right. So Abby, do you want to keep this story going? I'm nervous. Good. You should be. Okay. Um, I had a problem with the guy that was funding it, you know? Yes. Um, I just didn't, his accent came and went. Did yeah, you guys did. notice that? Yeah, it did. It did. It did. It really did. And then there was a scene where he was like being cleaned by two women. That was the weirdest thing. That I've was ever the seen. most uncomfortable and, part. And that's like, that's a way to introduce a character. Yeah, being right. cleaned by two yeah. white women. As yeah. like one robe is wide and open. Just yeah. Show just, breasts. Just, just, there were a couple funny parts, so I will give it to them. Uh, the part when the guy tries to drop the TV in the water and, and it, it hits just the, shatters and it on hits the dock. That. Yeah. He and just misses the Yeah, that water. part was really yeah. funny to me. And then when the wife slaps him the second time, and he's like, that has to stop. That has to stop. That part made me laugh. But that was really the only shining moments for me. Also, like, can we express how annoying the storybook theme was? Like, at With the, the very narrator? beginning. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, long ago. You know, like, it reminded me, like, we were going to watch a Disney woman. movie. Yeah, I, mean, I know. It's one of my woman. greatest features. Is being an old woman? Yeah. 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 I see that. Yeah. Good. Happens. I thought she was going to end up adopting them in the end, and she I did didn't. too. She absolutely and did. And she would have been a better caretaker because clearly the parents do not have any sort of emotional connection. They're clearly sociopaths, as my theory aside from this. I think that all scientists are sociopaths. Totally I think more normal. so That's the dad. Fair. Fair. I think the mom was kind of holding on. I don't know about. I thought she was crazier than the dad. Yeah. No, like I thought she was crazier, but I thought she had more emotion than him. Well, he, he, he was really, like, money-driven and, like, not wanting to have to pay yeah. this man a million and a half dollars Yeah. because of the kids. Yeah. But. Yeah. You guys know who Wes Anderson is, right? Yep. Okay, buzzword, Wes Anderson. I did that on purpose. Cool. You're not allowed to do that. I'm not drinking this. Yeah, yes, you are. This is mine. Oh. I think this you is the should resistance. take a double you know, shot I should take a double shot. No, and this I, is feel, the resistance. I feel betrayed because this is the second time Liz and I have had to do this because you guys are like, we're just going to throw the words on purpose. And then we're like, oh, now we got to take a shot of this See, spicy stuff. Abby's painting a picture like, we, like we're doing this on purpose. It's not true. You You're the one just that makes the buzzwords. Yeah. I don't know the buzzwords. That's not the point. You should you take a double for everyone, everyone that you say. Like you're my boss all yeah. of a sudden? Yeah. Nope. That's how that happens. Fine. I'll do it. Oof. Oh, he's going to do it. Is it just him? He's going to yes. do it. <laughs> just him. Fine. He's going to actually. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. He just did. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, he did it. Oh. He did <laughs> it, folks. <clears throat> Abby, give us your final review of this movie. Final review. All right. Here's the lowdown, kids. The lowdown? I thought it was a it was a good idea. It had a good thought behind it. Um, I thought it was poorly executed. I didn't like the characters. Terrible actors. All right, Noah, can you give us your final review, please? Yeah, sure. Um, Even though we liked the movie. Basically, what I got from the end of the film is that they raised a bunch of sadists. Okay. That's pretty much it. All right, Liz. But they, okay. Can you give us your final thoughts on this movie? Okay. Like every hot topic store, it tries Did to say be hot edgy. Hot topic. Is a, yes. Is a hot topic. It Continue. tries. It tries to be edgy and alternative, but it just doesn't end up being relatable at all. And I will always say this: successful scientists. Just let it happen. Let it happen. Successful scientists are sociopaths and. You have to have no emotions, and that's what the parents were. So basically, if I want to be a successful meteorologist, I just need to buy emotions. That sounds about right. So wow. my, I think my final thoughts on this movie is it was trash. 
it, it was the prettiest movie that we that I've watched so far. Men's Breakdown. It was like garbage. it was, a, it it was like, pretty garbage. Like it, flowers around. Yeah, it was. Yeah, garbage with some flowers in it. Like like the shots were pretty. Don't stack my cup, sir. Um, the shots were pretty. It was sh shot well. It just made me really sad. It made me depressed. If I'm being completely honest. Anyway, everybody, this has been this week's episode of Rental Breakdown. Who are you? I'm Abby Perry. Who are you? Nobody important. I don't care about you, but who are you? Liz Sopchak. And I'm your esteemed host, Logan Lewis. Get out of here, please. Hello, esteemed gentlemen and ladies of some kind. Uh, if you liked anything that you saw on this show, I don't know why you would, uh, please follow us on all our social media accounts, The Real Deal. Um, as always, I am the spiciest boy, Logan Lewis, and I hope you have a wonderful day.